am so excited to help you build your own simple sensory toolkit for your church. A great addition to a sensory toolkit for every church is the wiggle seat. A wiggle seat is wonderful because it provides extra movement for people who need help with that, who get up out of their seat a lot, and it can help people of all ages stay seated so they can listen better and listen longer. I love the wiggle seat also because it's very portable. You can put the wiggle seat in a chair, you can put it on the floor, or even in a pew. So I wanna show you how we actually use a wiggle seat. So this is a wiggle seat here in this chair, and what it does is it provides a lot of great movement while I'm still staying in my seat. I can move back and forth, I can move front and back, and I can get some of those sensory needs met for movement, but still stay seated in my chair. One thing to remember about the wiggle seat is you don't want to overinflate it. You actually want a wiggle seat to have that movement so it will wiggle back and forth so you can get that great back and forth and front and back movement. We all have different sensory needs just like we all have different dietary needs. Some of us are vegan or gluten-free or vegetarian. And just like that, we all have different sensory diet needs as well. Some of us actually need more movement. It's not just a want, it's an actual need. If a person is a vestibular seeker or a proprioceptive seeker, they actually have a need for more movement. Have you ever noticed maybe in your own church someone who regularly has to get up during the service and walk out into the hall? Maybe that person actually has a need for extra movement and might benefit from something like the wiggle seat or other alternative seating that would allow for more movement. I want to get a little more specific about what a vestibular seeker is and a proprioceptive seeker is. They are not getting enough vestibular or proprioceptive information in, and so they are actually needing to get more movement. For example, our vestibular system is responsible for our balance and our movement. Our brain takes in information from our inner ear and our eye all about our environment so we can navigate our world. And if for whatever reason our brain is filtering out that information and not letting enough vestibular information or movement information in, then we may need extra movement. And so the wiggle seat can really be helpful for people to be able to sit still longer, to be able to pay attention while they're seated, and have less up walking around so they're not distracting others from learning as well. So it can really help them to learn as well as help the other people around them to be able to have more effective learning. A proprioceptive seeker is a person who is not getting enough proprioceptive information in. So that is our body awareness. And we get a burst of awareness in our joints and muscles every time we move. So if for whatever reason our proprioceptive receptors aren't working as well as they should, and we're not getting those cues in, then we may actually need extra movement. And that movement provides that burst of awareness so that we can stay grounded and know where our body is in space. In fact, some people have this so severe that if they stand still too long or sit still too long, they literally might topple over or fall out of their chair. They literally have a need to move. Another great reason to have the wiggle seat or alternative seating is for people with ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. This can really help them to be able to focus and attend, and it can really help their learning overall and help them to be able to sit still. One thing I really want us to keep in mind is what we're expecting as far as attention and sitting still, especially for our children. 
I think sometimes we have unrealistic expectations of how long a person can sit still and attend. So there's a simple formula that we can use to help us know what an expected attention span should be for different ages. So the way you can figure an expected attention span is to take two to three times a person's age. So for example, a two-year-old, we would only expect a typical two-year-old's attention span to be about four to six minutes. And a 10-year-old, we would only expect a typical 10-year-old's attention span to be 20 to 30 minutes. And this formula works up until about the age of 16. And really, none of us can attend much longer than 45 minutes to an hour. That can be really challenging for anyone. Another great way to use the wiggle seat is to put it on the floor and use it as a physical marker for floor time or circle time. I have seen this be a really wonderful tool. So you put them on the floor and the children can sit on them. This gives them a physical boundary for movement. This can help our movement seekers because while they're seated on the floor, they can get some of their wiggles out still. Plus it literally gives them a marker to know where to have their seat. This can also help our kiddos that are tactile defensive because they can be very nervous if other children are getting close to them and might touch them and they have a real fear and anxiety of being touched. So by having these physical markers out on the floor, it can help our movement seekers to be able to sit still and remain in their area, as well as help those that have a tactile defensiveness be able to relax and learn and not worry about getting touched. The wiggle seat is also really helpful for learning. It's a balance disc. If we put it on the floor like this, we can stand on it and we can use the wiggle seat to actually balance and to work on learning while we move. So I could do something like, say, the books of the Bible while I'm rocking back and forth on the balance disc or the wiggle seat and it can help me learn my books of the Bible. There's a lot of great research out there about movement with learning. So for example, I might do something like this. I might go Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, and so on. And that movement while I'm learning, that rocking back and forth, can really help improve my learning. There is research that shows it actually makes learning easier, it helps us to remember longer, and even helps us to retrieve that information easier at a later time. I really love the wiggle seat because it is so portable. We can use it all over the church in any chair, the pews, on the floor. It's a super sensory tool for that reason. It's also very inexpensive, so we can have a lot of them. We could supply them in all of our classrooms. It could even be used in the sanctuary, have a stack of them near the door for those people that need it. It's very simple to use. It works, it's easy to clean, and it really provides extra movement for any age and anyone who needs it so that they can be able to attend and sit still and hear and learn more effectively. This is Sharla, your friendly OT. I'm so glad to consult with you about any of your needs for sensory tools for your church and your ministry.